All right, it's it's been uh, three weeks since I last checked my hungry bin. I've been out of town, just got back in. I feel really out of it. Um, I did check in um, with them, just looked in on them um, when I came back. And I know there's still a red mite problem. You can see all along here, all the red mites. But I think I will take care of the worms first this week. Worry about the mites later. It all depends on what I'm seeing here today. Um, so here we go. Let me get this out of the way here. Oops. Hang on, I forgot uh, something. I'll be right back. All right, I'd forgotten the neem seed, so let me check up on these. They look thin, which is, I guess, to be expected. I don't know. And I hadn't put... Uh... Oh, this is still hard. I can't break it down. But anyway, let me check on the edges. Um, oh, it's not too bad. Being gone for three weeks, the top is dry but it is moist down below which is a good thing there isn't that much left food wise which is also to be expected they just look a little thin that's all But in the center is where is the only spot where I put the um, bubble wrap. So let me put in some of the dry with the moist. Mix it all up before I add more food. I'm not going to do anything with the mites today. I'm going to wait till the uh, Whoops. Well, the worms are a little fattened up. Whoops. Let me put this back here. But I'm surprised. I thought it would be more dry. I mean, as far as the dry bedding goes, I thought it would be drier further down, but it's not. So that's good. Just want to mix them in. See the worms are fine, just a little thin. Lots of nice castings. And yeah, really nice. If I go further down. There are more worms. Let me check here in the center. Yeah, there's still some worms here. So let me just leave them alone. corn cobs so it's not quite ready to break all right Put some food in here. It's frozen still. It's like a couple of rolls. Ugh. Let me break those down so it's easier for them to get at. There's an avocado skip, uh, 
avocado skin. I think the bread, if you're going to feed them bread, break it down. Don't leave it whole. Alright, here's some uh, pomegranate halves. Corn husk. Fresh ones. Another um, roll. More corn husk. More avocado skins. You know what? I think I'm going to save these out. I'm going to use them um, for baiting out mites and hopefully I used um, watermelon rinds before but hopefully since they're hard enough I'll be able to use the avocado rinds um, to wash you know to be able to wash out and reuse rather than use up all my watermelon rinds again Oops, that one won't work. Let me break these up. Frozen, frozen, hard. Looks like it's a onion, tomatoes. This looks like old um, green beans, tomatoes, corn cob, more tomatoes. Let's see if I can break it up easier for them to get to once it's thawed out. Okay, looks good. I think that'll be a good amount. This is a zucchini cutting. Oops. Should have put another glove on. Now my other hand's all dirty. All right. So this seems to be okay. Let me move the camera so you can see the whole bin. Here we go. The bin of food. It's not a lot of food uh, to what I think they can consume, but I just want to um, make sure I don't know. Oh, this is a, yeah, that is tomato. I thought it was an orange peel, but it's not. All right, let me get some neem seed. And I'm gonna sprinkle it on the food this time. Put that down. And, whoa. Heavy. Heavy for one hand, anyways. Moist bedding, ton of it. <laughs> Just want to make sure it's cover. It's enough to cover the food that was fed. Of course, I could always bury the food, but it's all right. Make sure everything is covered, and it looks like it is. There were more, was more food in the center than on the corners, so that's good. Plus, I'm putting the uh, plastic bubble wrap back on. Let me get that. There we go. It's all set, and thank you for coming on this journey with me.